Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Oh boy, here we are. Maniacal madness during a heat wave. We're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. Well, Eileen, if it's over 90 degrees with high humidity all week, I call that a heat wave. Leave him alone, leave him alone. Yeah. No, he's focusing. It's kind of heavy. And, and Plus, plus he, he always has to be right. So, uh, have you cleaned out that uh, very heavy purse of yours yet? A couple of things. Oh my God. I threw away an expired coupon that was in here. Only one item? I got more to clean out too. More? <laughs> more I don't more. like to get rid of things, Jimmy. Yeah, but hoarding is doesn't make sense. Hoarding doesn't make sense. If it's garbage, you throw it out. You know how much stuff I throw out? Oh my god. My grandmother used to be a hoarder. Um not not severe. Well you know what it is? People that grew up during the Great Depression, they tend to be Hoarders and they tend to be um, What's the word kind of tight with the dollar? You know skin flints right? Yeah, they, they, they become cheap skin the right? right and then my grandfather used to say they used to they used to eat bread and onions for dinner But they become cheap skates or skin flints or tight wads You know things of things of that nature, you know but there's no excuse. There's no excuse. He heard you. How many times you got to say it? Of course he heard you. Because Jimmy wasn't here yesterday. What was that all about? Yeah. Jesus, Eileen, what's wrong? The amulet needs its bed. Yeah, like he doesn't prepare the fucking bed. Here you go, Mark. you relax with the goddamn napkins? No, I, no, you like the amulet to have its bed ready. I never, I never said that. But when I took it off, you kind of scolded me that no, one time. No, I didn't. You're, you're imagining like she no. is. I didn't. Any, anyway, during our tropical uh, heat wave, did anything good happen yet? I don't know. That means nothing happened. I don't know and I don't care. Eileen says she cleaned out her purse. She took two items up. That's uh, not cleaning out your purse. An expired coupon. And Jimmy <laughs> took three out of his purse. You should see the garbage I throw out. Yeah, you have a big purse. I know how to distinguish uh, that which is of value and that which it has no value. Yeah. I smell whiskey. Oh, good man, you tied one over. I, you did. You, you, it's good. It takes the edge off of what life. I smell booze. No. It's okay if you had a sh shot. Oh, God, he's wound up today. Oh, no. So, I didn't smell. I've got the two of you wound up now. Oh, Jesus, what do you all fucking hate me? It's in denial. Christ. Oh, God. Sometimes people 
Well, you're Irish. <laughs> oh, God. So, Eileen, are you making sure that swamp ass never occurs with you and your friends and family? Yep. You're hung up on this thing, aren't you? No, it doesn't rouse you up. You're the one obsessed with it. It's kind of, it's kind of fun, funny. No, it's not. It's well, you, you're the one that taught me about it. I mentioned it one day, just mentioned it, and you haven't let it drop. It's old hat, old school. Would you consider the fake stones outside to be old hat, too? Yes. Okay, then I won't My mention God, it. My God, what's to say about that? There are fake stones, so what? <laughs> Well, it's a maniacal, mad day. Look who's here. Who? <laughs> Pointing over there. Oh. <laughs> are you happy now that he's here today? You're happy too, though. Oh, you were worried yesterday. Where's Jimmy? You think he's going to show? Is it too late for Jimmy? No, to I was. I was occupied. He wasn't occupied. He was doing nothing. Not really. He was avoiding you. If I was really doing nothing per se, I would be. I would have been here. What were you doing so important? I was having uh, some iced coffee with a friend. Where'd you go? Uh, Dunkin' Donuts uh, in Ma on Main Street, Lodi. Oh boy! I had a giant hazelnut with no sugar, just cream. Wow! And it was awesome. Now you're here with your other friend and. Everything that. is beautiful. <laughs> well, that's why I said maniacal madness. In its own way. Oh, I need that ukulele now. Yeah, you do. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't count on the heat wave ending the end of, end of this week because it's not. No. It's going to end, I think, Sunday or something. Uh, yeah, you serious, Jimmy? No, well, he's, no, he's lying to you. It's not me. It's the National Weather Bureau. Jimmy's not making it up. He's repeating what he heard on the news. Now, right, the, remember the days when they used to call um, a dresser a bureau? My grandmother used to do that. But that's so not the federal dresser of investigation. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't need it. Are they spelled the same? You, you're, you would know that. Yeah. English language is a very odd language. You know, it's silent letters. No, I think it's the best. It confuses everybody. Like borough. Like the, like the borough of town. Like the author, Edgar Rice Borough. Yeah. Right, Simon. Come on, we want your input, Eileen. You sit hey, there like you're like hearing crickets. Or she, she's the college graduate. She's supposed to oh. know. Start acting like a graduate, will you? I'm quiet. Uh, you are. Why, Eileen? It's probably the heat wave. Why, Eileen? The lady had me out in the heat to put my medication in the pillbox. Wait a minute. She took you out in the what, heat to why put you, your medication in the pillbox. Why do you need to go out in this weather to fill your pillbox up? You could do this because in your apartment. She was pregnant. And, and That's not good for her and either. Her, and her nose was slow. Her nose, her nose was all stuffed up since she was so pregnant. So you all went outside in the heat. And she didn't want to be in the air conditioning because it would stuff her up more. Oh, the, the heat would be good. Eileen, what the hell is going on here? She wanted to be out in the heat. Tell her I don't want to be. Oh, my God. I didn't speak up, Phil. Why didn't you? Oh, my God. I, I guess I should have, but I didn't. I, I guess so. It sounds like your nursing aide needs a nursing aide for herself. It was the, it was the She's nuts, was, baby. She's it wasn't nuts. the aid, it was the lady giving me my medicine. Let me ask you a question. Oh, Eileen. If you have asthma, allergies, or whatever, isn't it better to be in a nice, crisp, air-conditioned apartment than to be outside in 90, 90 degrees plus humidity? Come on. You're smart, girl. What makes sense to you? Did you say anything to her when she came over? Did you say, I don't want to go out in the heat? I didn't say anything. You she didn't say anything. anything. So this woman's jackass... Did she tell you she made the appointment? Yeah, a Dr. Rigolosi, she told me. I told her the dentist right next door He's got five say, stars. He's going to say, I don't have any wax. I can hear it though. He's going to say everything's okay. Don't mention that you know me, because they'll take it out on me if you aggravate me. Well, no. First thing you say, <laughs> I'm only here because of Jimmy Madonna. Shh. That's Madonna, like the song Lady Madonna. <laughs> I'm here because of Jimmy Madonna. Hey, what was that end of the song where they went doo doo doo? The Beatles went poop poop poop. What was that? That's where they went. 
Yeah, no. no That's idea. like when the Partridge family used to go, fa la 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 la. Well, I don't know because I, I can't think well, of that. Well, that, that's if you don't have any lyrics and you, and you have no talent. And you, they used to go, fa la 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 la. I wouldn't know. Anyway, yeah, Lady oh, Madonna. She's happy now. Children at your feet. I, no, I told her she's about happy you're here. Dr. Moon got five stars from everyone. Um, Who's Moon? He's a dentist that's right next door to Dr. Rigolosi. Well, she's just happy you're here. Archie, Archie. But this is very menace. Right? Good to have company. Though. Company. I, I suck yesterday, huh? You were good company too, though. You kept asking you about Jimmy, Eileen. <laughs> Why was that, Eileen? I asked about you when you're not here too. No, though. you don't. You ask about Jimmy, Eileen. I listen. Asked you Eileen, why were you, why did you oh, ask about Jimmy, listen, Eileen? Listen, <laughs> Bill, uh, why did you ask about Jimmy so well, much, listen, Eileen? Listen, uh, Chicky Poo, when I'm not here, here, here if I'm go. not here, Bill gives good advice. You should take his uh, sound Does Eileen worry a lot about advice. my friend Jimmy Madonna when he's not here? Well, thank you for your concern. <laughs> I appreciate your concern. Is Eileen overly concerned about my friend Jimmy? Uh oh. Well, that ain't good. You dog. That ain't good. You dog. Yeah, that's be. This Why is, are you laughing? This is. Laughing? What's the laughter about? I don't what know. What's the laughter about? This has become old hat too, by the way. No, I go by what she does every day. When you're not here, goddammit, she goes, where's Jamie? You think he's coming? It's too late for him to come, isn't it? I said, I don't know. I said, it's your turn. Why are you walk. driving this poor man nuts about where I am? I said, I don't know. Are you my keeper? Y yes. <laughs> yes. I would. Hey, by the way, speaking of, uh, don't the, uh, what happened to the, um, the refurbished central air conditioning in this establishment? I didn't hear you. Yeah, I, I don't no, feel no. it. He means the Wendy's down the street. Why don't you go tell him? Could you please turn the air up a little bit? No. Remember when the owners? Why won't you do it? Remember when the owners were smiling at me from ear to ear? She's too shy. Being so friendly. That that's what the carnival um, hucksters do before they stick it to you. Don't say hucksters. She thinks it has to do with corn. Well, that would be a shuck a, a shuckster actually. Uh, I feel like I'm being stalked. <laughs> That's pretty good. K O R N he haw. K O R N T V. You felt the breeze? Do I think it's on? No, I think it's on slightly. I think it's on slightly. You got it, and then when you don't need it, they freeze your ass out. And they freeze, right, you, you can see your breath coming out of your mouth. Or, or as a Brazilian woman well, said... breath, I can see your breath no matter what the temperature You know what a Brazilian woman said? She couldn't pronounce mouth. She said moosh. I said, what the hell's moosh? You like this guy, don't you? Huh? How do you get mouth from moosh? How do you You're get moosh? Nice too, no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm, she I'm, likes everybody. She's no, a, she does. She's no. a worldly person. No, she's not. She likes Jimmy. Yeah, just... Eileen likes her Jimmy, Listen, doesn't she? Like the fake rocks more, please. You're getting nervous, aren't you? Because it's become an old hat. No, it hasn't. It's just getting started. Uh, uh, it's just getting started. Old hat, brother. No, uh, brother. But, but when I mention other things, you say old hat, Jay. Well, certain things are. Certain things are. Well, this is old hat. It's not old hat. This you say is, it to me all the this time. This is just yesterday. She says, no, you misinterpret. She's asking, where's Jimmy? A what thousand times. Book? Yes. Well, that's, that's obsessive, isn't it? You think? <laughs> I'd like to know what's going on. Are you dividing him between you, him and Ray? Oh, my God. Nothing went on between me and Ray, Bill. Uh-huh. Why did you run out the door so fast? Then? Don't give me that BS, Eileen. I went because I was bored and I Yeah, got yeah, you two are whispering to together. He needs your lesson. 30 seconds. I know what I did. I got a clear conscience, so it don't bother You know what got me seriously? I'm asking you. To beat the bass. You said, you said it was because I called you odd. Yeah, what? Now, whoa. I didn't even, wait, you shut up, too. I didn't even talk to you that day. Jimmy was here. Whoa. Well, Joe. Oh. No. Jimmy was here. You and Ray were talking the entire time. 
I didn't talk to you at all. He and I spoke together. All of a sudden, he gets up and leaves. You follow suit. I didn't talk to you. So where do you get off this? And as thing you, I called you off. And as stuff. you were. You no, 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 no. Because one thing I don't say is the word odd. He'll vouch for that. That's one word I really don't use. No, he did not say. I'm a liar. He didn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He did not say any of what you said. Wait, wait, Jimmy. Just be quiet for a minute. That day that Eileen jumped up and ran less than 30 seconds after Ray. Did I see that she was odd? You're lying. Look at, look at this, look at this. When you, when you, Jimmy, look at the size of the swing. Look at the size of that swing. Look at the pe pendulum. Look at it. He knows. I didn't say you were odd. We were talking about Listen. everything else, and you accused me of saying well, that. Pendulum could shake all the way, but I know what I heard. Uh, yeah, in your own mind, yes, you know what you heard, but in reality, when you, you were wrong. When you ran out that door, our heads turn and go. Where the look hell is she look running? How, where the hell is she what running did I say to? to you first? She can't even say goodbye. What's this all about? She, look how fast she's running out the door. I said, look, I, oh, you weren't looking. Remember, I said, look at that. And I, she we were both even, like I said, this. she didn't even say goodbye. You, you dashed and you didn't say goodbye. Nothing. Or, or so long. And you were whisper in the corner of that back seat right there. And then you accused me of saying you're odd or something. That's right. Why was why was Ray whispering to you while what he was, was sitting all over about? there? What was he whispering? Why did he need to whisper? Look at the look on your face now, so Eileen. I know God. what he probably I'm said. Mad. Well, you should be mad. Wait for lying to your friends. Do you Come think, on. Do you think Ray, if I knew how to read lips, was, I'm not lying about was Ray saying, was Ray saying, I have a new king size memory foam mattress that I'd like to show you, Eileen? Was he saying that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Ladies. Does Eileen have a wild imagination? Go, Jimmy. Now you got that song stuck in my head, Lady Madonna. Oh my God. Yeah. No, I never said you were odd, Eileen. You were, that's that's wrong. I thought about that the other day. Listen, I said, wait a minute. I didn't even talk listen, to you. You were so busy with Ray. Listen, sometimes me and Billy buck heads, but I, I have to stand up for him. He did not say odd, strange, bizarre, or any anything well, of any. He didn't even mention anything about you. No, he said verbatim. Look, look at her. Look how fast she's running. Right. She didn't say goodbye. She just ran out the door after Ray's hand. Ran out the door. Yeah. After and you were in, you were scuttled. You were. And you were like she, like you were like. Ray and now you're mad because we, we we tell you the truth. Like you wanted to jump on Ray like he was a, like he was a, wait, a wait, look, prime rib wait. of beef. Our friend Eileen is she mad at Jimmy and I because we're telling the truth? Like he was prime rib. Look at how big that goes right into her. Yeah, look at that. You ran behind him like he was ribeye steak, like he was certified Black Angus age ribeye steak, brother. I know what I saw, and I know what he said, yeah. and he did not say. And then you accused accuse me of saying you were odd. I mean, I'm, I'm not really odd anyhow. I'm just an it doesn't matter. The point is, you said that I said you were, and I'm I did. I'm not odd. I'm just an average person. You're missing the Maybe point. Maybe I can't do things that other people. She's can missing do. Jimmy. But I can't get through. I'm missing the point. But, that's I, but the point. I'm not a lot of medicine. That's not the point. Why? The point is, you accused like, me of saying you were odd. But I'm just like everybody else. Right. That's not the. No, point. you're not. The point, the I Eileen, do. shut up. Jesus Christ. The point I'm making is you said that I I, I accuse you of being odd and I never said. That's the point. I'm, I'm going oh, to have a big glass of sh uh, cream sherry when I get home. Eileen, you just, just right, like right now, you just distorted everything. Eileen. I never said you were odd and you're saying I'm, I'm, that's not the point. And you accused me of it and All I right. didn't do it. You have a cause. You have cause to grieve. Why do you have the need to save so much literal junk in your purse? Why don't you, why'd you only throw out two things? All this stuff is necessary. Oh, sure it is. What'd you throw out? Can we ask you that? An expired coupon. One, oh, you know, one? Woo, an expired coupon. But the thing weighs a ton. I picked it up one time. I'll bet you still have Jimmy's phone number in there, don't you? You want it? You want it? No, no, no. Yeah, she has my phone number. A million, a million cards. So that's why it weighs so heavy, right? Listen. You want his number? You gotta, you gotta use your college, college education to determine what is junk and what is not junk, and then throw out the junk. I'm, I, no, that tray's not gonna move. Don't worry. You keep looking at it. I'm junk. This no. is quality. This is what you need. No, 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 don't start that crap. She does need you. 
cut, cut it out. She oh, does. you can have the perfect 10 go go dances that come in here, but I have to have. Yes, that's how it goes. No, that's not how life oh, yes goes, it is. sir. Yes, it is. Shake and not stir. Mr. Online. Shake and not Mr. stir. Jesus, Mr. What? Internet? Yeah, yeah, but I don't. I look for red flags, my friend. And I have to when tell you to stop up. it. And don't worry about it. She's a nut job. Don't. She's a oh, wacko okay, out there. Right, Come right. on, man. No. Well, I. Yeah, I. I tell hey, you the truth. I listen to you when you give sound advice. I always give sound and, advice. And, and your father taught you very he well. Did. I don't write a book. I, bo I kid a lot, but I don't because when you it know, comes to crunch time. He, he's like he was like uh, the Dos Equis man. He was a worldly Dad was person. Dad he was, was worldly brilliant. and brilliant. And, but he was a man of the world. Dad would have grabbed your whole purse and lit it on fire. <laughs> I would have give. I would give him the matches. Oh, Why are you, are you wouldn't try to hatch that thing or what? Yeah, what's what in here? What are you doing? What is that grab it, grab it, please. What's in there, grab a dinosaur? It, what do you have, it. a dinosaur egg in there? I need something attached to me. I have a blanket too. I I always have to be resting with my, laying down with my, with my sheet or blanket or something like that. I need something attached You mean a baby blanket? No, a regular blanket. Well, we all have blankets. Like you keep I saying we know. I don't know. I think this I, is going to be a long. Yeah. Thing, I think I it? think I gave you that quilt. Did I? That queen size quilt. That big fluff. Oh no! I'm no, sorry. No. I, I confused you with a one of my mother's caregivers. No. No. I'm sorry. Probably Eileen's Christmas gift. <laughs> You probably gave it to you as a Christmas yeah, gift. Right. <laughs> and neither of you would tell me. Believe me, if you had that much of value in there, I don't think it would be in there. I don't think it'll be anywhere. I got gift cards in here. Yeah, well, well they probably expired too. <laughs> expired. Oh, okay. Well, you know, Bob the accountant, he used to have expired coupons in his wallet. He had, now, he, he would love Eileen. Did you get perfect. him in here? He had rubber bands around his wallet like George Costanza of Seinfeld. He had rubber bands in not just vertically but horizontally. Yeah, so it really held everything together. He had held all the garbage. And he knew all about shrinkage too. He would tell you all about that. Triggers? Yes, triggers. He you know my grandfather, triggers. my grandfather who grew up in the depression had rubber bands around his wallet, God rest his soul. I, I, I think there's a pattern here. I think rubber bands are only good for shooting people. <laughs> you like that purse, don't you? Look how she he hugs it like a boy. But you sleep with that? You, you don't. Wait a minute. You could be, you could be a spy. You could have a nuclear device in that purse. We don't know. How do we know you? For, hey, how do we? You're packing a gun, aren't you? Packing. You heard me. AR, AR7? Oh, see, then you heard the gun. She goes, what? And then, oh, I have a gun, you say? I said, you're packing a gun, aren't you? Now, Billy, Billy, you don't have to go on. You don't have to go on and on. I quickly, to the point, I said, you're packing a gun. Billy knows about Secret Service. You might be an agent. This all might be an act. My co my cousin was a uh, Secret Service agent. Yes, she was. The little Annie was tiny, too, 5'3". She was a secret oh, wow. service agent. Uh, nah, you know. Well, they, they want you to blend in to population. Andy, Andy, you know, beautiful girl. Yeah. Well, the she'd ones. Got, she'd confiscate that purse. I say, Andy, take a purse away. Let's go, in the, let's go in the bathroom and go through it. Yeah, right. Like we're going to find gold bullion, gold bars in there. I'm going to find your phone number. I don't even think Fort Knox even has the gold bars that they used to have. I'd like to know. I don't know what they have anymore. I bet they they transferred it and nobody... And well, they, even what's down here in this mint? Yeah, nobody knows. You going to read? Well, when, when I worked... You leave your purse? I'm bringing the whip there. You don't trust oh us, Oh, my do God. You? Look at this. Yeah, all you that, don't trust us, do you? All that junk. That, oh, oh. All that junk that she has in there, and she took her with her. Well, when I I had a. Oh, I thought about that the other night. Whenever. So anyway, she said he used me to say she was odd. I didn't he never talk said to her that. that she was busy with Ray in the fucking corner. You and I talk. They jump up and run out. I. When did I say you were odd? I I never heard you say that. Never. That's not really a word I use, if you know. You you don't put I don't down. Say things are odd. 
No, but you don't put down people that might be challenged. <laughs> oh, what I was going to say, I had a temporary assignment from Mellon Bank. You know, I think they're out of Pittsburgh, uh, Richfield, New Jersey. They had a vault that was thicker than the one on Get Smart. You know what they had in the vault? No. They were the, what's the word, the custodian of, of common stocks. You know, I'm related to that family. Of millions and millions of dollars of common stocks. You know that? Yeah, you were telling me you know the Mellons. No, I'm related to the Mellon family. On your mother's side of the family. Yes, mom explained to me one day, and I don't remember. Let's find out. It's a big bank, right? Well, did, did, did I explained to me one time. Am I related to the incredibly wealthy Mellon family out of Pittsburgh? <laughs> yeah, I believe you. Well, no, yeah. Mom, mom, mom wouldn't lie. Mom no, no. Down and explain it. I don't. I just don't remember. Yeah. Now, um, is the is the word custodian of common stock certificates the right word? No, you need to carry a pail and a mop. <laughs> okay. Why don't you go to the bathroom? She, she's okay. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that, that... I'll get the door, though. That'll really... No, I'll get the door, she won't that, be That'll I really... I mean, Jimmy's coming in. I might as well commit suicide. I'm ra I'd rather... For me to do that, I might as well swallow a sign. Joseph, Joseph, Jimmy wants to talk science with you. Jimmy wants to talk science with you. It looks you. like him from... I know, doesn't it? It does, but it's not. Oh, you know, you know what be... You know what would aggra... Wait a minute. Who's this? That is Joe. I think that's him. You know what would aggravate him? If we asked him if he was a Chinese spy from from mainland China, espionage. You ought to hear what he's saying about you. <laughs> What's that? Espionage. What's, <laughs> are you guilty? Are you are you a spy from Russia? Are you faking this American act, this common Amer I'm being funny now, this common this American is, this accent? This is a feeble attempt at humor. Sarcasm. It's not working too well, is it? Yeah. It's a, uh, uh, Sorry, see what you've done? He don't want nothing from us. His back is turned to us. Oh my well, God. it's a secret. It's big. My back is not turned, is he? Talking oh, about. Oh, jeez. God. I'm talking about. Your, your, back, your back is turned. You got to go with it. You know, your back is turned. Actually, you're, you're actually facing that way. You didn't know that? Ever heard of the band Sister Twister? <laughs> I never heard of that Sister Twister. What does that mean? It's a band. <laughs> oh my God. Very famous rock Not band. Not a rubber band. Rock band. You know, I always wonder why that, that rock was so smooth out there. It was a little too smooth. Came out of your head, did it? <laughs> I know your tricks. What now, do you, where did you go? The men's room or the girls' room? Do you, in your living room, do you have a tree stump for for a coffee table? What kind of? Uh, I ca I can't imagine you having normal furniture. My brother has a tree stump for coffee table. The guy that makes eighty thousand dollars a year. Well, oh, well, oh, he does he make eighty. Wait a minute. You said it, wait a minute. First you said eighty thousand. Then you said fifty. Then you said forty thousand. You mean to? No way! <laughs> no way! No way does the government take out that much from your paycheck? From eighty thousand, it became forty thousand. He just came out of the blue and told you that. I, th I think he makes around eighty. Someone Why do you think that? Who said that? They don't. They don't. They don't, they don't take. I mean, they, yeah, that's Jimmy. They don't take 50% out Jimmy's of you. Jimmy's the one you like. Now she says she doesn't know how much. Before she said they take 50% out. Does Arlene's brother make 80,000 a year? Saying yes, Bill, right? Does Arlene's brother make 50,000 a year? Oh my God! Saying uh, yes, right? No. I Saying, don't know how much you make, but he well, then why do you say this? Why do you make statements? Now all of a sudden, eighty thousand. Then all of a sudden, I don't know how much he makes, but he makes. What do you 
Whatever conductor makes us good money. Conductor? What is he, Choo Choo what, Charlie? What, which symphony? Conductor? From that to a Oh, train oh, conductor. Like, like Good and Plenty, Choo Choo Charlie. Remember that stupid commercial? Oh, yeah, yeah, she, she says one story. You kissed the Blarney Stone, man. What are you in the mood for, Eileen? Secluded rendezvous uh, across the avenue. You don't know, Eileen? Secluded rendezvous. She's in the mood for Ray. <laughs> Simply because, because they run fast. <laughs> Oh, only oh, look at her go after his ass. She's in the mood for <laughs> Ray. That's short for Raymond, right? Usually. Well, in his case, it might be Stingray. Yeah, a uh, football man. Oh, football. I said it hasn't even started. You know, I think the only professional team named after an insect is the Charlotte Hornets. I, nobody no. named the team after the nat, a gnat or a mosquito or a no, fly. I think there was a college team called the Nats. The Nats? Was yeah. Nat King Cole a, a partial owner? Yes. Okay. But no, he don't spell it that way. He spelled N-A-T. No, oh, he I'm spelled sorry. it. He's, his name was spelled G-N-A-T. G-N-A-T. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the, the G is silent, by the way, uh, in, in Nat. How do you spell your name? E-I-L-E-E? -E? E -E huh? Four E's? Three E's, Bill. Not the same... It's <laughs> one first and then two after. After what? After the L. Why do you do it that way? They just say. Well, that's wrong. They shouldn't do that. You're not supposed to do that. That's no, not that's the way a, it's That should be illegal. You know what? That I agree 100%. Names that were originally created back in the day, in ancient times, should not be, the spelling should never be altered. Tradition is very important. Oh, Your name should be... Charlie. <laughs> My name should be Charlie? No, the guy next to you you should be Charlie. Now let me ask you a question. Speaking of Nat, they, they pester people, they come out at night, they're nocturnal. They pester you, but they don't bite you. What do they eat? What do Ganats eat? I'm asking you. You're you're you have a higher she has high I don't have a college degree. You're the one with the college degree. I think you should go with Joseph. I don't know that though. You know, it's a, it's an insect. They're tiny, and they come out with the moths at night. You know, they hang around your your outdoor lamp. We had football practice this is about 30 years ago. Yeah. When we were down there practicing, you know, the gnats always come in that swarming ball. Yes. But they were only around my friend, one of my wide receivers, Kirk. Like they tone. weren't bothering Jimmy and I and all the other guys. <laughs> and Kirk was, why are the nuts all around me? Why are they all around me? And Jimmy goes, Jimmy goes, I remember this. He goes, they're, they're fag nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's freaking funny now. You oh, should be I laughing. Up. That. You should be laughing up the storm from that. And she's not. Okay. Is she a fag or what? No. Oh, my not God. At all. Oh, we were just kidding with him. Oh, jeez. No. You know what? I dedicate to, the, to, to this this maniacal madness day to the gnat. Here's to the gnat. Here, here. I, don't should name, I think they should name a bug the Eileen. Swarm of Eileen. Yeah, but they'd be flying backwards. Oh, easily. <laughs> I'm in a mood for gnats. And they'd be near you, obviously, because the... They want their Jimmy. No, they do bother well, uh, me. How did you know? They're Eileen Nats. And mosquitoes. You know, they're mos Eileen Nats. Right, you know, Eileen? You know, Eileen, the mosquitoes never bit my grandfather, even if he sat outside in the middle of the night on a lawn chair. They never bit him, but they attacked me and my grandmother. The like, fag bugs. like this. Why did they never bite him? I have no idea. Now, you know that the, the female is silent. The female mosquito is the one that will uh, bite you, suck your blood, uh, but doesn't buzz. The male mosquito is the one that buzzes. Isn't it fascinating? Wait a minute. She buzzes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, then she, well, then she proves the mosquito theory wrong. Then. She's in the mood for Ray. Are you, are you old enough to operate that machine? <laughs> huh? 
Did you just get home? How was it down there? Isn't this brutal? We didn't go inside, we're outside all Oh my, my. Where'd he go? Uh, he was with Amtrak. They go in there in the tunnels and everywhere. And it's just hot. Hey, when are we going to get high speed electromagnetic monorails? <laughs> I was that was being sarcastic. I knew it's all, it's I knew all it's politics, scary. right? It's too built up. No yeah. Where are you gonna go, right? Well, look at even mainland China has those bullet trains now. Yeah. You know, but they 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 do reverse engineering. They take ideas from other countries and they uh, they they dissect. And then when you tell them you have a patent on it, they they give you the raspberry. Where are you going tonight? Out by the pool? It's not that crowded today either. It'll be nice for you, man. Yeah, it's probably like bath water. Doesn't matter. That's what happened point, in Cabo yeah. San... You don't care at when, this point. When I was in Cabo San Lucas, it was bath water. The end of Baja, it was hot. Get nice hot. and cool, Tommy. It was hot right? water. Yeah. Good to see you, bud. You got it, my friend. Thank you. It's not very pleasant to, to, take a, to jump in a pool during very hot weather when the pool itself is like a bathtub, Eileen. Well, you know, if Eileen was nearby, I'd jump right next to her and I'd kiss. And you'd what? Kiss. Well, that's what they do in public. Kiss. They do that in public. <laughs> a kiss. Right in your area. Well, in, Spa pee. in Spanish, the swimming pool is... I'd pee right in your zone. In Spanish, the swimming... And then, you know what I do? I take the water like this for you. <laughs> in Spanish... I would. In Spanish, the swimming pool is called piscina, but in a public pool, it's called pee piscina. Get it? Pee piscina. Hey, you should be laughing. swimming? You pee right by me. On purpose. I think you can feel it when On somebody's purpose. whizzing by. I can hear her now. She's saying to another person, the water just got very warm. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the mood for Ray. Now you, you got me in a singing mood. Please. You're nervous. You're snapping all over. What's the matter? Because all this humor is just... But you're wired. It's What's in, wrong? I don't know. Oh, they raised the price of the medium oh, coffee. Oh, so what? Who cares? I call them... Uh, Go complain. I bitch. told them. You're a greedy capitalist. Not to him. It's not his Tell fault. Tell them this is harming your... Taking your woman out for a night on the town and stuff or whatever. Right, Eileen? Come on, let's go swimming. Uh, 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 in Holiday Inn? No. Marriott, because we don't can't get in. The guy. Like a good idea, Bill. It might be just that, Eileen, because I'm getting the urge to know. The guy uh, that does the guy that does the fitness seminars, Rick Brown from Southern California. He calls me and I told him. He says, "Where are you?" I says, "I'm in a liquor store buying beers." He says to me, "You're becoming an alcoholic." I go, "Why? What? That, that's ridiculous." I says, "Just because I'm buying beers or wine, that doesn't." What do you want to ask me? But what do you want to ask about Rick Brown? Does Rick drink and not tell me? No, no, nah, that's no question. Come no, on. I'm trying to find is out if he's like, like a man bitch where he's overly critical of those that who drink things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Come on, man. What is do you he ask? is he is he a man? Is is Rick Brown being a man bitch for? Where's he from? He's from uh, Southern California. This friend of Jimmy Madonna's is Rick Brown out of Southern California. Is he overly critical about anybody who drinks? Look how jump right into that. But Rick Brown, uh, Rick Brown told me, Amulet, that he goes, that he loves the Belching Beaver Brewery, him and well, his... That doesn't matter what he loves. Yeah, but if you drink, you don't criticize others for drinking, you know, you know, it's being a hypocrite. Is he just a critical person who picks on everything everybody else does? No, that Amulet is accurate. you in the pool. Empty, empty my damn bladder. <laughs> Come here, Eileen. Yeah. I know, hey, and I know all. I know all the tricks about how to go undetected having sex in a pool at night. No, there's a way to do it. Oh, he doesn't know. Don't listen. To I could write a book. On oh, it. you couldn't write a book. You can't even write. Well, I, you know, I don't write a book. I can write a book. Actually, I can blog on the internet about it. 
Writing books is old fashioned. Oh, please. Books are please. old fashioned. No, they're not. People don't read books anymore. Then why are they publishing them? You got a point. Where do you get all this stuff? The two because of you? they're becoming old hat. No, they're not. Books. They're coming back bigger and more and more. Like LPs are being printed more than ever again, too. Where do you get all this stuff? LPs? Big time. And they're making turntables big time all over again. You know, Vern used to tell me that Our vinyl... LPs making a huge, huge comeback. You know what Vern said? That the, the quality of sound is actually superior on a, on a vinyl album. You didn't know that? Album. You didn't know no, that? No, I couldn't understand why, because it's all old technology. I mean, it's all... So anything new is better? Do you, so what you're saying? Well, uh, engineers and scientists no, are supposed no, to make it. No, you're all full of shit. But they're supposed to make it that Am way. I right when I say in many ways the old ways are best? Does new technology always mean better? Okay. The amulet is saying no. New technology well, is know, not. I, 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 that's what I said. Where did you get this stuff from? It's not necessarily. Why well, yeah. you figure, you know. No, you don't figure. Engineers they, and scientists. They, they try too hard and it can't get done. You, know. you can't. You can't some, in many ways, the old ways are best. Did you know that a CD and a DVD actually has a shelf life that eventually... They yeah, they lose? said it would last forever. You could pour ketchup on it, would still read through it. No, it won't. Even if a CD is clean, it still skips sometimes yeah. dust. So that was bullshit. But I love CDs. So when I when I saw my, my grandfather's record collection... Do you have CDs? Yeah, I How many, Eileen? Not too many. How many is not too many, Eileen? I had more. Oh, God. Oh, here we a, go. Nothing but thieves in your neighborhood? Here we go. People in? took them. Uh, no, you didn't. You know, I hated my cassettes. You know why? No, they used didn't. to unravel. I, especially my favorite ones. They would unravel. The tape just, you know, you go and pull it out. and. Is that thing... imagining all these thieves coming <laughs> into true. our apartment and stealing It was everything. always my favorite one. <laughs> Eileen, you think everybody rips you off. How can everybody rip you off? Especially when you're a hoarder, you got junk in that, that, in that purse. According to Eileen, she's getting ripped off <laughs> a lot. Is that true? Saying yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Saying no. Saying no. Big no. That's yeah, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong by Raymond, too. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I know it's right. Eileen claims that you are wrong about she and Jimmy plays it in his right. And the wrong Jimmy guy Raymond. Right. The spot guy on Raymond. My shirt. <laughs> Eileen claims you're wrong about her and Raymond. Is that true? I know it. I know what I'm talking about. Well, in your own mind, you do. But, uh, I, I, I do. Uh, look My at mind this. Is I drive a car. Look at that big no. Your mind is working. I drive a car. What's that? I drive a car. I'm a college graduate. But wait a minute. You drive a car. And drive, and but, I'm a college graduate. But you ran. But you ran into a telephone pole because you yeah, were looking that was for. That's a mistake. Looking for the water bottles. I, I'm not going to do that again. You're not supposed to look at the floor of your car while, while you're driving, uh, Eileen. Are Jimmy, are Jimmy and I trying hard our best to get through to Eileen? You know, one time in Lodi, I saw a flatbed tow truck towing another flatbed, flatbed tow truck. Of course, I took a video of it, but you know. Yeah, it was funny. It was a flatbed towing a flatbed. That's like a fire truck uh, uh, putting out a fi uh, another fire truck that's on fire. I don't know, it's just funny. It just means nothing, really. It's uh, it's whimsical. No, it's just nothing. That means funny, right? No, oh. it's just nothing. It's not whimsical, it's whimsical. Oh, whimsical. It's like saying applicable instead of applicable. Eileen, you, you in love? No, I was wondering what Jimmy was looking at. I'll, I'll give you one guess. He was looking at you. Yeah. Sure. He was disguising it as that. But. She's in the mood for Ray. I oh. love Raymond. 
Because Raymond is going to be my... Yeah. Now, what I try to explain to Rick is if you drink in moderation, it takes the edge off of life. It takes. It helps the with stress. The bottom line is... It helps with stress. It's none of his business. Uh, to make judgments and say I'm an alcoholic. What's his name, Rick Brown? Yeah. This friend of Jimmy Madonna's out in California is Rick Brown. He does seminars. Is he somewhat of a whack job? Mm, he's kind of established. I wouldn't go that far. But... Oh, are you establishing a whack job? No, not really. No. no. <laughs> please, please, stop that. That, that glorifies No, he does really seminars. Good. I'm not into hero worship, but he does a lot of seminars. Just because he does seminars is Rick Brown. Does that make him smart? Jimmy Madonna says it does. Is Jimmy right? I'm wrong. Okay. In other words, you never know who's wacky. Regardless, you know, you know how successful you they. know. I've been a very good. Am I an incredibly great judge of people? There you go. Va 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 boom, as they used to well, say. Well, go ahead, hot child. Let me see you do something. Va 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 boom. Say, excuse me, ma'am. Can I can I dance for you? Oh, that will get her excited. I think she had no underwear on. You could see the cheeks of her rear end. There are no cheeks of her rear end. You mean her, the crack. You mean the gluteus maximus. No, the ass. Yeah, well, that's actually the... I know. Oh. Remember, you're a man of science. Yes. We gotta go to Bendix Stein. It's my treat. Well, she can't take her eyes off you. We gotta go to. Uh, it's over here. Uh, Cunnilingus. What's the name of it? Uh, you said Bendix Steiner. It's over I, here. Yeah, I know. It's over there. Uh, Gabriel. Uh, Gabriella's. Uh, or. Uh, um, I'll even. I'll drive it to uh, Blackjack Mulligan's. I'll drive it back. You know, it's boring for, for me to sit and eat by myself. I'd rather, you know, sit with somebody. No! I'm gonna play the ukulele, man. She wouldn't talk. She'd be stuffing her face. Oh yeah, because especially if somebody else is buying, right? Give her a pound of French fries. She'd be set. You, you were crying about the dollar seven, and you took out this Warren Buffett wad of money that time when you're you, crying about a dollar seven. About telling me, come on, why don't you buy her a friggin' ice cream cone? Yeah, what have you bought her? I don't no, know. But I, I saw I, you take a Warren Buffett. Or it was like this thick. Yeah. Full of cash. How many ice creams have I bought you? How many things have I bought you? Do you would you like an ice cream, sir? No. Burgers, fries, ice cream, Listen, other people you don't even know. Listen, what have you bought her? I've offered to buy you lunch at three places. When? In the recent past. Very you recent have. past. Be Blackjack Mulligan's. Irish uh, sports yeah, You said bar. we'll go there. You Benning, didn't say go Benning, buy Benning, Not Benningans. Benning's time. Benning you didn't say I'll buy you. So we'll time. go there. No, I, I said I'll treat. I'll pick you up in case you want a drink. Or Gab... Uh, Am I right? I bought you things all the time. Or Gabrielle. I'm not being cheap. Very generous, buy her an ice cream. Though. Very generous, though. Yeah, but she's not man guy. Buy her an ice cream. Hmm. I don't you want to spend money on it. No, I don't want something. her to get the wrong idea. Oh, will you stop? You want an ice cream? In the world. <laughs> Listen, you really. You can get me fries if Hey, your purse is open. You better be careful. I'll be back when we get her a fry. You better be careful. You better see if she zips it up. I'll get her a fry. Get her Let me help you, Bill. Oh, that's okay, Jimmy. You want the seven cents? No. I'll, I'll contribute the seven cents, uh, the, the kern, as Ralph, as Ed Norton used to say in the honeymoon, is the kern. You want what? One French fry? He's got. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
One or he won a big lawsuit. Oh, off the or you know. Yes. No, not you. Not you. Not you, but he does. William William is a recently converted um, Democrat, but he was always a Republican. And uh, Republicans are usually extremely tight with the dollar. They're very frugal. Uh, in other words, they're skinflints, uh, cheap bastards. Uh, and he, but he keeps his money a secret until I've seen the big, thick wad of money come out of his pocket. We're talking about William H. Morrow the third. Oh. Uh, uh, the, the, the longer time goes by, the more rackets develop. Everything's a racket. A, ra a racket is a person who runs a racket. It's uh, called a, a racketeer. Uh, somebody, in other words, there you go, bingo, corruption, a crook. Uh, a, a carnival snake oil huckster or charlatan. How many times are you gonna say crook? Yeah, crook. What? You want to marry a crook? Would you say? Yeah, crooks. I, I put it. I put it in layman's terms. Crook. Yes. Or you could say poli politician. Taking a bribe, you know, you can say that if you want. <laughs> oh, man, they're uh, just to get one small uh, French fry, they're sure taking a long time. Oh, he's, con he's conversing. He gets so upset when I when I danced outside. I did the Irish jig. I did the Irish jig one time for him outside. He got so upset. Oh yeah, I jig. I I jigged up a. Well, no, I'm not. A, I'm not like the river dancers, you know. Well, you know what's a good program? You ever hear the Celtic women? Celtic women? They play the, the, the violin, they, they sing. They're all pretty, you know. Yeah. No, I don't know how to do the professional. I, I know what you mean. They all, they're like choreographers. They all do, work together when they dance. Yeah. No, no, I just did some crazy leprechaun dance. I have a Blackthorn Shillelagh at home, good, for good luck. I could bring it in. Then they might think I'm gonna crack somebody over the head with it. <laughs> nah, I'm sure they wouldn't, but. But it's very hard wood. If you whack yourself with it, you'll get hurt. My dad used to say he was gonna use he was going to use his, uh, his strap on me, and he used to have a shillelagh too. You know? Your father had a shillelagh? Yeah. Yeah, but that's 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 dangerous. Yeah. You can't, yeah, you can't spank a child with that. Yeah. That's that's like. Yeah, on on the, on the handle. Yeah. 
Well, thorns some do. The whole thing. Some do, yeah. yeah. My dad had thorns on the whole thing. Oh, he had the walking stick one. I have the shorter one. Oh, yeah. He had the walking stick one. He used to walk with it. Well, who, what happened to it? I don't know, somebody kept it. No, it's not. It. No, it's hers. Somebody, kept, oh, shit. somebody kept it in the movie. Yeah. Somebody kept your father's shillelagh? Yeah, in the movie. Yeah. You should have got it. You should have. You mean somebody, somebody stole the shillelagh? They just kept it. You know, or somebody threw they it away. kept it? Who knows? One of the threw it away. You know how much they cost? They cost like a, a couple hundred bucks or more. Oh, yeah. They, a, a good one. A good you walking. Better get it in now. She's not going to talk anymore once she starts nah. stuffing the face. Nah, she says her father's shillelagh was stolen by someone. What's a shillelagh? Everything in her family is stolen. It's a, it's a made from black thorn, a walking stick. You know, leprechaun. I don't know if they threw it away or gathered it away. Well, when you say they, you mean your... A cane. Is you mean your... Right. It's like a cane, but it's... So her father's cane was stolen. I don't know if it was stolen. An expensive type of cane. Okay, well, who's... I don't know if it was stolen or given But who's away. they? Eileen's father's your cane relative? was a story. Yeah, the, the Blackthorn Shillelagh. No, it well, wasn't. You said cane. No, it wasn't stolen, no. No, you can't compare a cheap she ass cane. She said it was cane. given away. Was it given away? No, it wasn't. See how quick... Well, I don't know. You brought... I guess I, while I was over there, the topic of two of you, why didn't that come up? Because she said her father, think, she's trying to raise her Kate. father used to spank her with a belt, and and, uh, and I said, well, did your father have a, a shillelagh? I, it's a popular Irish cane. He said he would spank us with the with the strap, but he never did. Uh, you're Irish. Yeah. You know what the the why best? Do you, why do you look Jewish? That's because she. Yeah, from yep. your eyebrows. Because wow. all the junk she hides in her purse. Yeah. She used to go quiet. She's stuffing her face now. She's eating. You can't talk to me, can you? Can you? You have this habit of one fry at a time, don't you? She's trying to stretch it out. A time, it's like a time-release vitamin C cup. See how she eats one fry at a time? Kind of like when she has sex with Ray. No, Ray. You mean they really go slow? Ray, you're so deep-fried. <laughs> Yeah, his brain is maybe deep right oh, oh. oh my goodness gracious. It's gotta be something there's gotta be um it's gotta be a, a um a silver lining on the cloud, you know. Oh two? Oh my god. Oh she's branching out now. Yeah. A lot better when you take more than one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, she's um, she's obviously busy. Look at that, four. Hey, four. I told her I said grab more, one at a time. Grab a whole handful. And put them she's in. She's really man. brown. She's branching you know out. I leave big out. Have fun. Unless, well, except, she can't for, even, she knows she can't even, mm -hmm. except for drinking, because then others call you an alcoholic. Oh, then she just chugs. <laughs> oh, her? She'll chug it. Oh, she'll she'll down a martini in like two seconds. Okay, doctor, real quick. That lot of sugar in it. Are you strawberry. an alcoholic? Not really. Stop. Strawberry daiquiri. That's nothing but a margarita with rum in it. To be honest with you. When you think about it, you know, instead of tequila, they put rum. That might be Joseph. I think it might be. No, I could tell by his it is his him. torso, his head, his uh, yeah, him and ten million. Oh, that's him. He turned side ten million other uh, Chinese. His gray, know. his salt and pepper hair. No, he, it's him. He just the hairs on his face from not shaving. He he just turned his head. He doesn't shave either. She, she won't throw out more than two expired coupons, so, uh, you know. Is she going to come up for air? I think he's, a, he's into espionage. Is she coming up for air? No, she's not, she's not even stopping. Is she, getting, is she breathing? No. Oh, Eileen, you know the, the, all the, all the um, Italian festivals in our area are starting? 
uh, um, I think as of August 14th. Go ahead and talk, I'll be right back. Because Labor Day weekend is the big, really the big festival, you know. Oh, boy. I'm about any of this silence on the phone. You're all... He don't, say anything. he don't say anything. He don't say anything because he doesn't want to give you anything. Because yep. he, he's a he's a cheap bastard, maybe. Yep, and the wife is cheap too. Yeah. But all their money, you believe that? Is Eileen getting enough to eat at home? Is your damn brother are an extremely cheap ass? Oh yeah, without a doubt. You know, is he? He won't help her with her food at all, yeah. Willie. Hmm. Is Eileen's brother afraid of his wife, like my brother? Is Eileen's brother afraid of his own wife? Oh yeah, that's it. She's the boss. She wears the pantalones in the family. Your brother's a wimp, I think. I know he is. He, he's like... Uh, uh, I wouldn't call it. You know, Rex me, Barton, you know my person. I'd say somebody tried that with me. Said, Get the fuck out of here. Who's that guy's name? Carl? The one that was raised oh, friend? Oh, God, yeah. Carl's a great Mother guy. Boat. Well, he's a great guy, but, he, you know... Great, too. And look what they ended up with. Hey, I bet... You know, I tried to look for Ray DeSanctis on Facebook I, or and online. He's nowhere. Not everything is on the online, Jimmy. But I bet I bet his wife is online, but I doesn't allow him to cares? be. I think online is just total bullshit. Well, how do you then? Wrong. How do you like lickety split? Get a, uh, find somebody. You don't let people know. You want privacy. Why? You want because you want people to leave you alone. Why do you have to brag and tell everybody? Here's my lunch. Here's what I had for dinner. Who's no, that? no, that's stupid. Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking so about great? somebody being I able to find this. someone. Please. That they like that maybe she's no. maybe she's maybe hot. people don't want to be bothered. Maybe she's hot looking. Maybe people don't want to be bothered. What about getting stuck? People don't want to be bothered. Stop with the sex thing. Not everything is sex, Jimmy. No, I didn't no. know that. Oh. You gotta stop it. <laughs> Does Jimmy Madonna have an incredible problem with sex? <laughs> well, it feels so doggone good. How would you know? <laughs> He's trying to tell me I never had it. Well, your hand doesn't count. Okay? No, come on, silly Stop goose. Stop it. Come on, silly goose. It's overkill with Jimmy and his sex crap, isn't it? There you go. Amulet, is celibacy boring? Well, he said call the amulet, but. Amulet. Jimmy said wants to know is celibacy boring? No, maybe not to a nun or for a monk. And some people have sexual problems. <laughs> All right. Yeah, being, be, being left alone probably uh, equates to a celibate Sex lifestyle. Sex gets boring. Many times have my friends had to call up and make fake excuses so I could go out with the guys. I didn't want to be with a girl. I got bored. It gets tiring. That's because you party. My doctor said when I went to him because I couldn't maintain an erection. He says, you're worn out. You are tired. Yeah. He goes, stop it. Well, you probably party like, like a, a we crazy. We partied like you wouldn't believe. From the time you I, went to college? To I said, I just don't want to be bothered. I decided. 1960s, 19... I was never desperate. I, got, I had the yeah. prettiest girl in high school, Judy. Well, from high school to college to the nightclubs. Judy, when I met Judy. To the nightclubs, to the... Uh, uh, yeah, my, nightclubs. My girl Judy in the high school. Was she the prettiest girl in high school? Was she a cheerleader? No, she knew what I was doing. Oh. oh, really? She was hot. And she wanted me so bad even before I ever met her. And she never showed interest in being the head cheerleader for the I, football. She wanted me before I ever even met her. They pushed me in the hallway. Uh, were you on a football team in high school? Yeah. Oh. I, uh... I remember the day we met her family, wonderful family. I had my parents over. Everybody thought oh, we were wow. married. Uh, 
beautiful. Oh, when I first saw her, she was in my Spanish class. I didn't know her, but everybody knew Judy, obviously. And I just saw her. Well, unfortunately, when people, when women get married, I don't know why they, the, this happens, but a lot, of, a lot of times they get fat. For a guy. They get portly. Well, she's getting heavy before she gets married. Oh, you're, por you're porking up before marriage. Yeah. That's, that's not a good thing. You ever see some of them? They get downright fat. Well, and that's they... called women change. No, it's called and getting too comfortable. People can't throw things out. Yeah, no, they get too comfortable with their oh, husband. Oh, that guy's never changed? Oh, no, they get pot bellies. Well, and... More than that, they lose their hair, too. Yeah. <clears throat> you ever see the, uh, uh, like when Archie Bunker used to sit in a chair with his belly hanging out. Eat it, get me a beer. You know, I mean. So you've been pregnant for how long? Never. Did Ray uh, 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 pollinate you? Oh. Well, that's a nice way of putting it. Pollination, no. Nothing. Uh, forget it. Well, Joseph's coming over to talk to you. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, see yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he barely, he barely, he barely, he went, he went like this. He's just went cold. He, went, he can't, he couldn't lift his hand and say, Hi. Asian cold. But you know they're that way to their own kind in China? They're just cold. They're cold. She's Asian. You've got Asian in nah, her. Nah, she's friendly. No, she's got Asian in her. Da -da 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 yeah, I can tell. Turning Japanese, yeah. I really think so. Remember that song? Oh, there, there we go. Hey, look at him. He's getting a pot belly. Actually, his shirt, his polo shirt, is... Oh, he's leaving. He's quiet now. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, God. You know what the kids do the same thing? Um, at Burger King, the Dollar Tree here, they loiter with their skateboards and bikes. They've got to be sloppy. Too. They loiter and they're sloppy. But what the bad thing is with the Dollar Tree, they have the automatic door that slides open and all the air conditioning goes right out. Because they, they park their bikes and skateboards right by the door. Even adults keep the, the, the shopping cart there. Well, it's like her apartment. She has a sliding door policy. I thought it was a revolving door. Well, do, you have a re do, you have, do you have a revolving front door? No. You know, it's, it's called Bakery. Eileen's Bakery. He's got his suit with him. Eileen's Bakery. Take a number. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say this to you. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Why has he got, he's got a polo shirt and a, and a black suit with him in 90 degrees. Well, this is, this is a big speech coming up, you can tell. Look at this guy, look at all this. Tonight be big, I have eight people. I guess he felt at one time that he couldn't get what he wanted out of me and you, so he stopped talking to us. I think he should have interviewed Eileen. Oh, he's on that side. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, he, oh, he drives a silver Toyota. Looks like a Camry, I think. And he's on that side because... No, I think it says Corolla. On the right side, upper right side. Look, I think it says Corolla. Okay, so therefore, he doesn't want to run into us because he knows we park on the other side. And he's going to leave and Eileen's going to run out the door to go meet him. Aren't you, you know, he's a professor. He, he, you, you can have college uh, caliber conversations with you and Joseph. Yeah, you won't understand anything he says, but you know, what the heck. Now, see, he don't want to run into any of us. That's why he, he parks... He gave you the finger. That's why he parks on that side. I'm gonna go for a walk now. I'm gonna see if the track is open to slim down. Just slim down my belly. The race down. track? The track? The track on, on, the, on the highway over here on 17. Why don't you go to Meadowlands and run a race? Why don't you? No, there's. A, do they let you use the one in Hasbro Kites around the football field? You, you know, Eileen, I got Eileen. It's not really. It's not really. No, it's over here. 
Eileen, it's not really safe weather to be doing the exercise. It's here. not safe to be exercising, so Eileen. Not you're not even listening, are you? Eileen, you're going to you? collapse. It's over 90 it's degrees. It's not safe weather. Wait a day or two to cool a little bit down. They've got warnings yeah. that all of a sudden now, with the extreme heat of the year, you want to go out and run. Does that make any sense? Uh -huh, it does. Not run, walk though. Even walk, it's just not safe. During the heat wave, you're going to do this? This is I insane. I guess I shouldn't do it. You say no, right? Well, there are warnings all over TV. Okay, I won't. Can we get through to you? And listen, don't fill your pill case outside in the heat. Should, should our friend Eileen be going out and walking around a track in this incredible heat right now? That woman's crazy. No. Yes no. no. Okay, well. Counterclockwise. And that woman's nuts to make you fill your pill case outside. Should Eileen wait until for a number of days until it cools down a, a, a good deal? Yes. Eileen, we get, we're trying to get through to you, but it's just uh, it's hard. I don't I don't understand. I don't know what else to it say. It comes back to my dad. You can't get through to people. And learn you try to, to tell them and teach them things that they won't. Let's and learn to throw out junk, please. Clean that damn thing out. Start with Jimmy. Grab him by the arm, take him over to the trash, take him, stuff him in there. Okay? I'm going to my air conditioner. It's cooler at home. It's not too cool in here. You're right. What my do you mean? Hey, I'm here. So what do you mean it's not too cool in here? Who do you think you are? My air conditioner's blasting too. Yeah. Because your mouth. See? Say a nice guy. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Uh, are you, uh, uh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, 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 I'm forgetting. Though. Hey, well, thankfully, I'm here to make you remember. Wait huh? a minute. Where's your tray? I didn't get her a tray. Oh, okay. okay. Never mind. Forget about it. Okay. Take care. Have a nice day. You oh, manaja, manaja. You don't care at all, Eileen. I know. Let's get the hell out of here. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.